Elon Musk is suing OpenAI and its CEO, Sam Altman, saying they abandoned the company's original mission to develop AI for the benefit of humanity and not for profit. In the lawsuit, Musk accuses OpenAI and Altman of being in breach of contract and violating fiduciary duty and asks that OpenAI be required to open up its technology to others. OpenAI is pushing back against Musk in the lawsuit in an internal memo to employees. Chief Strategy Officer Jason Kwan, who I happen to know, writing, we believe the claims in this suit may stem from Elon's regrets and not being involved with the company today. I think that essentially translates to what a loser. I think I believe that's their attitude there at OpenAI. In fact, I know it is. Um, first of all, as I said on X, for those not a lawyer, my summary, tough toenails, AI, Karen. Vinod Kosla, who's an investor in OpenAI, posted about the suit saying it feels like a bit of sour grapes. Um, most lawyers that have written about it says there's no merit. It's not a contract. This was not a contract. And and it's just a lot of grievance by Elon Musk. Most contract lawyers think it's not. But Elon always said, you know, does a pitch over the over the plate in an attempt. Lawsuits are his thing, are his love language. Um, what do you think about uh, the the lawsuit, Scott? I had coffee with Ted Sarandos a few yeah. weeks ago. By the way, a lovely guy. And about twelve years ago, I bought what was for me a lot of stock of Netflix at I think twelve bucks a share. And it fell to 10 in December, so I sold it to take the tax loss, and I never bought back in. And now, what is it, at 500 And I remember sitting there as I was talking to Ted thinking, as lovely as he is, if I owned a shit ton of shares right now, I would like him so much more. <laughs> and, but here's the thing. I'm not going to sue the company because I fucked up and made a yeah. bad decision and lost yeah. a lot of money and power. Yeah. And that's all this is. There is no agreement stating between them and Elon Musk stating how they would operate the company. He left the company. These were his decisions. He tried to take and over is, and then was rebuffed and left, but go ahead. This is literally a, a, a child stamping his or her feet because they quit the team and then the team goes on to the national finals and so they get daddy, they sue the team. Yeah. I mean, there's, this is legally laughable except for the part when you have a billionaire when you have a billionaire with armies of lawyers, he will harass them and he will make their lives more difficult. This makes, this make, this slows down commerce. It slows down innovation. And it is, it is literally harassment by litigation. There is no legal merit here. There is no business principle here. Mm -hmm. It is, it is a guy going, wait, I control space. I sort of control EVs. I can't believe I fucked up and I don't control AI. I know yeah. I'll sue them. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything bad about it? It's interesting. I've talked to people there and they're, this is the, I mean, they they wanted that memo out there, obviously. vinod has been very aggressive and very like, fuck this guy, essentially. Um, and, you know, I think they're basically, he's just, he's just feels like a loser and he's not the cool kid. He's not the cool kid in AI. And he was there early. That's for sure. For a hundred, I was, I, he talked about it extensively 10 years ago, but he definitely got made a power play as he is wont to do. This is one of his moves at every company he's been at. He always makes a power play and either gets rebuffed or he wins. Um, often gets rebuffed as early companies. He certainly did. And this is what he did here. And he didn't win. And he's trying to, you know, put light onto, he's backing the people who were against Sam Altman. He's been backing them. A lot of people feel he was involved in the, in the attacks on Sam for sure. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past him. Um, and, and that, uh, and that he's just mad about it. You know, he's just wants to be in it and his grok is not doing as well, although he has tons of, he has tons of chance with Twitter, I guess. Um, but it regrets, it regrets is a nice way of saying you're a loser, um, I think in the, in the thing, but does it, does it, is it bad for open AI, even if it doesn't go to trial? I mean, he's being pushed back in his other trials. Um, uh, there could be some inner workings revealed in the discovery thing. And of course, Microsoft partnership, um, you know, there's proprietary technology here. Is there any risk at all? Sure. There's it. it I mean, you have a company that's trying to move a million miles an hour that has a ton of different considerations while they think about effects on humanity, managing a high growth company. I mean, this is Sam Allman has a difficult job. And all this does is it says, OK, I have no justification. I'm just going to distract you and make things harder for you. So it absolutely damages open AI. And and judges, if they do their job, will dismiss this type of lawsuit quickly to say you are getting in the way of commerce and there's no legal basis here. Yeah. I don't, 
you know, it, it, generally what I find, generally mm-hmm. what I find is that very wealthy people recognize their power. And if they have character, and I, I, I've never bought the trope, the, the Senator mm-hmm. Warren or the populist trope that rich people are inherently evil. I've actually found in general, very wealthy people get there because they have high character and they establish allies Some, along the yeah, way. Like regular people. And they're measured mm-hmm. around litigation or somewhat measured. They don't, they don't go out of their way to sue people because they realize they have more money. This guy sees litigation as a means of trying to true up the world to his standard. Who does his that standard sound like? Is, Who does that sound like? His standard is, I should control the world. And let me, let's just ask a global question here. Are we better off? Uh, we're better off for Elon Musk. I still believe that. He's been a pioneer around EVs, what he's doing in space. I don't think you'd want to press a button and have him disappear or have him move to another country. But might it be a better idea to have him doing his thing and a guy like Sam Altman, who thus far strikes me as very thoughtful, controlling the, the most important company in AI, or would we want Elon Musk to control it? Yeah, there's, he's there's trying to impo- fuck with him. That's all he's doing. And, and it'll work. They already are. We're already mm-hmm. talking about it. Some, some embarrassing things might come out. And not only that, he's pro- Sam Altman and key principals to this company and key funders are probably A, going to have to spend time in court or give depositions. And also they're going to have to be very careful about anything they do or say. It'll pull back their risk aggressiveness, which is, which is part of being an entrepreneur and growing a bit. This is just, it's bad for the economy. It's, it's bad for business. It sets the wrong precedent for other people. It's, I mean, it's just, it really is. This is what Trump does too. The lawsuits, the grieved, aggrieved lawsuits. It's, it's, it's a, it's a thing. He's moving. So there was a good article in the times about how close by David French, about how close Elon and Trump are to MAGA, like this idea of aggrievement and lawsuits and anger and this and that. It was interesting. I, it's just, he's such a loser. Unfortunately, I think this type of, this type of aggressive litigation is Mm -hmm. effective in the sense that it just places a chill over society and business. Yeah, he likes like, to do you it. You know, I'd rather, I mean, it's just everybody, right? Mm-hmm. And when billionaire, it started with Peter Thiel deciding to put a media company out of business because he had a ton of money. This kind of stuff puts a chill on journalists. It puts a chill on investors. It puts a chill on CEOs. I mean, it, 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 it's just not, it's, it's not the way... I, I don't know how you. Although I, I have I noticed legally, more people pushing yep. back, OpenAI pushed back really hard. I, I, Alex Stamos is doing one of my interviews in Sanford, in Seattle, mm-hmm. and he wasn't talk he wasn't talking publicly before. You know what I mean? Because he they have the lawsuit by Elon. Elon goes around suing everybody, like to try to shut them up. And I, I think people are like, "Fuck you!" Like essentially, but still, it causes it's, money. It's expensive. It it uh, it creates all kinds of like but two, issues. Two, two, Two thirds of jobs are created by small and medium sized businesses. Mm-hmm. If you're, say, he just starts, and I think he's already done this, mm-hmm. say he just, any competitor, first off, he called for an AI pause publicly because supposedly yeah. he's concerned about the fate of the world. And it comes mm-hmm. out he was trying to catch up, that he was mm-hmm. going full force with his own AI efforts and mm-hmm. had no interest in pausing. But if, if big companies just start suing, and to be clear, big tech is guilty of this. Mm-hmm. They just start suing small companies left and right. They can put them out of business. That's really he, repulsive. The, the small company can't. It's difficult for the small company to wait around for the judgment. Mm-hmm. It's difficult for them to recruit employees. Do you know mm-hmm. what it's like to raise money under the auspice of a, of, a, of a lawsuit filed by not. Elon Musk? Or, not. quite frankly, a lot of these companies, including some of our favorites, Apple, Amazon, are very quick to send cease and desist letters. When I left my last company, I wanted to start another company. They immediately started sending me letters. And I'm like, okay, I want to work. I'm not going to compete with you, but I'd like to work. And in their view, it was, unless you sit around and do nothing for the rest of your life, in our view, you're competing with us. That's how it came across to me. And we're going to hire this really angry, mean law firm. And the only reason they backed down it's because I'm rich, yeah, and they know yeah. I can defend myself. Yeah, but what yeah. if it was tw- ten years ago or twenty years ago when I didn't have the money and I was trying mm-hmm. to start companies? I would have, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have been able to raise money. I, I would have just backed down from this big bad corporation who had absolutely no legal merit. 
None whatsoever. Every lawyer I talked to said, yeah, you're going to win this, but it's going to cost you a bunch of money. What if I didn't have a bunch of money? Yeah. It's a, it's a nuisance. It's a nuisance lawsuit. Anyway, Elon, get some therapy. <laughs>